Okay. So the third one, actually, if you rotate this around, you can see the, the last hole. So once you have it positioned where you like, you don't want to try to position it with um, three. So I position with two, put the last one in. Now it's good and tight, it's not going anywhere. So we're almost done, all we need now is the hot end. And it's a pretty easy affair. Uh, I like the wires pointing out this direction. A um, little less length for them to travel instead of the long way over. It's a short way over. Trust me. So that you might want to clean that out a little bit. I've put this in and out two or three times now. Now this is something you want to pre-drill. I believe this is an eighth inch drill. Um, but uh, you might want to go a little larger even. You want to be very dainty. This is how you could screw up the whole deal. Now, I do not recommend you use power screwdriver on this one. You're going to want to listen very carefully. This is critical that you not ruin. There's a little bit of cracking there because it's really pinching tightly, um, forcing that groove. So it's pushing, because I'm putting it in this side, it's pushing it this way. And honestly, um, I run a lot of these with just one screw. If you want to go crazy, you can put two screws in. That's why I'm sending an extra one inch screw. I can just hear it breach the other side. You could, you could put, uh, I send you two, you could put both in. Um, but honestly, this thing gets so tight with this little mechanism here that is super super tight I cannot move it at all but if you want to live dangerously go for it we'll uh, see what kind of sounds this makes going in I do these by hand don't do it um, it's really tight don't do it with the power screwdriver, you'll just bust it all up. Then you'll come have to come buy another one. I'm definitely gonna die with carpal tunnel. Cause I've turned a lot of screws. <laughs> Actually that went in really nice. I'm pleased. I didn't hear anything terrible cracking or anything. And I'm not gonna over tighten. It's a really nice length of screw to use because it doesn't poke through the other side, it doesn't get in your way. If you use too long a one, it'll just bind up on that. So there's our extruder, and I'll go ahead, pop this guy on here, and I'll mount it right on here. Now, um, one reason that I often, I gotta move this up, one reason I often just leave um, two. Two of these is because I move this motor a lot. I put that third screw in there without thinking. Once again, um, so you've got an option here. You can either you can mount it up or down. But if you've got an LC, you have to mount it down so the screw will actually um, seat inside this hex cutout. But on this model, we just make all the extruders the same. On this model, um, you'll actually be able to mount up through the bottom. That may sound like a pain, but it's good because, for instance, I'll pop this right off and get right at it. Now this is loose enough on this hex, I'm going to have to hold it in there with my finger while I mount this. I put that uh, motor on there and forgot that I had to mount it, so I'm going to 
tighten that down nice and tight. I gotta get this little thing in there. One way to do it. If you've got some long pliers, sometimes you can get it to seat just right. Oh, perfect. Now how to keep it there. I'm not sure it'll work. By the way, I'm using a half inch screw, just a little bitty screw. Oh, I don't want this to come out. Woo! Thought I've had it. There it goes. See if I can luck out. No such luck. Oh, there it goes. Cool. So the idea with this mount is you'll be able to take it off with a short screwdriver while it's on the bot. Uh, just move the plate back. Your little table there. Move this back and you can get access to it here, even with a long screwdriver. Um, so you can take it off while it's there, the screws just fall out. And once that's off, um, or even uh, if you want to take the back off, the whole mount off, you can just take it off from the back and you don't have to, you know, the Prusa was terrible with that. I try to get in the extruder off, switch out stuff. So there it is. We have mounted extruder, a printer bot. And then in my next video, which is not going to be tonight, I don't know, maybe I'll finish it, we'll hook up the electronics.